thought I would do a video on the difference between Super ATV doors and my really dirty Armor Tech doors. So I have two machines with Super ATV doors, one machine with Armor Tech um, fit and finish. Don't mind my dirty machine. It hasn't been used in months and I gotta clean it. But the Armor Tech doors, the limiter straps, I don't even know if those are factory or not, but they're pretty useless. Um, you know, I definitely flop to these doors as well. Um, fit and finish is not perfect. You know, they, they do pretty good, but you can see this door, you can see daylight right through it because it does not line up right. Doesn't even follow the contour right. You can see can and dips. This is straight right through. The other spot is right here. You get these big holes. It's on all of them through. So you get snow and stuff in there. You know, like I said, the fit and finish is probably not any worse than factory doors. The downside of Armor Tech doors fades out. This is Rhino Liner. Or it's not line liner, but a uh, line X, nice and bright, dull. So when you have them line X, they end up uh, being two different colors because theirs is junk. So that is the Armor Tex. Now, in comparison to Super ATVs, fit and finish is about the same. You don't get the huge gap back here. But there is some, you know, it's, you can see this door needs to be bent a little more. It's got a little play in it. You know, I had to try tweaking these doors. This one's not as bad. Um, you got to bend the metal, you know. These have a piston on the top to hold them versus that junk strap. Um, same kind of latch system on both of them. They shut pretty easy. Um, the Super ATVs do come with the mirrors. That is factory on them. So that is included. You can see them on this door too. Um, you know, they're not perfect. The big thing with Super ATVs, as you can see, you can see right through both sides. Wide open visibility, no restrictions. When you get into Armor Tech, you do get the lower windows, so you do have some visibility. One thing that Armor Tech's got on Super ATV, but I believe Super ATV just changed for 23, is you get the slide window. Front and back both have sliders. The Super ATV doors on this model's doors does not have any windows. Um, I believe the new ones that are just coming out that I didn't get have a slider window, window in them now, but I'm not positive. But that's uh, the difference between the two. I haven't ran these in the snow yet to know how much snow is going to come through them. I do know the Armor Tech doors, my back seat fills full of snow when I'm plowing. Um, I'm doing heavy plowing at 20 miles an hour, not simple driveway plowing, but I do get a lot of snow that comes through those doors. So we'll see in comparison to the Super ATV doors. Price point, they're the same. So that's why I decided to give these a try this year to see which ones I actually like better. But that is, you know, your Super ATV versus your Armor Tech. Some of the differences. Fit and finish, I would say, is almost the same. These Armor Tech doors, you had to bend them as well to get them to match up. This door, as you can see with the daylight, I could never get that to line up because I don't have any room to move forward in the back. If I move that forward, then I have the gap in the back. So I get the gap either way and it's tight up on top. Huge gap on the bottom, and it's not too far off right here. So it's just bad design. So that is some of the comparisons to Super ATV versus Armor Tech. First impressions of the Super ATV, I think I like them better, just for the fact of the full visibility. And that is my new XMR. And that is an XT HD10. And that is an XT HD8 with my new snowblower. The 
This is a 22. That's a 21, and this is a 23. 